Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey, and we're revisiting X Phytotherapeutics today, who we last talked to in early March. Joining us is Hugh Rogers, CEO and a director. Hi, Peter. Thanks for having me. Nice to see you again. Um, a, a lot's gone on in the company since the first week of March. I'm, I'm scrolling through the press releases. It seems you have a major announcement every week. To your eye, what is the most important announcement you've made? So uh, mid-March, we announced uh, commercial approval, so CEIVD mark for our rapid point of care COVID-19 test. So that was a major milestone. The company went from basically invention to commercial approval in less than 12 months. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, in the you know kind of unheard of in the biotech world, um, and now into launching sales. So we've had some exciting news, um, some partnerships uh, developing in Israel. We've had sent some samples there for regulatory approval. We've got uh, just very recently uh, launched a pilot project with a, a partner pharmacy in Germany. This is uh, developing mobile uh, protocols for testing. So everything from lab on wheels um, to satellite pop-up labs. So that really is uh, kicking off our, our entrance into the German market, which is pretty exciting. Now, the last time we talked, we made a joke about sometimes it's better to be lucky than good because a lot of your scientific team came from the infectious disease side. That's right. So we, you know, we're, we've got a few different verticals. You know, we're in the diagnostic space. We're in the drug formulation space. We're also in the sort of emerging API. So we have you know, cannabinoid and psychedelic drug formulations going on, as well as uh, API production. But our core team, you know, our drug formulation experts, actually, if we dig deep enough into their resumes, we're infectious disease experts. And as we built our team in Germany, just by chance, um, you know, the, the people that ended up joining the team uh, were also infectious disease experts. So it was a, you know, it was a pretty um, seamless transition into the, into the diagnostic space. Right. Um, I see recently you delivered COVID-19 tests to Israel, you're distributing them in Germany, and you've hired a new COO for your German subsidiary. That's right. So the big one uh, in terms of personnel, and the team is building rapidly. Um, uh, Wolfgang Probst, uh, the former managing director of XP Diagnostics, is now our COO. Um, a little bit further down in that email, you'll see uh, Manfred Buchberger. So Manfred Buchberger... Um, was former head of sales and then CEO for a major European diagnostics company. He helped build that company from about 2 million euro a year in revenue to 600 million euro a year in revenue. And he is uh, leading our push into the European market. So, it, you know, he's a superstar and it's, you know, we're very lucky to have him. Now, it's going to be exciting news, but all of this takes money. What's your treasury looking like? Yeah, we've got a couple billion dollars in the bank. I mean, we always have a few million dollars in the bank, generally. Um, we exercise a lot of warrants day to day um, from our original shareholders in a fairly methodical uh, manner, which has funded us you know, largely uh, going forward. As we, um, as we grow the business and really launch sales in Europe, I think we'll look to probably secure um, some sort of a revolving line of credit to fund uh, inventory on the manufacturing side, uh, which would be our largest sort of uh, largest line item going forward. You probably get some help from the BDC? Um, likely the German government. So certainly grants and potential zero interest loans for that sort of thing. Um, you know, a lot of, not unlike in North America, there's a lot of uh, government funding for these types of projects. So I'm looking at a, a stock chart that's a little choppy. It's been up, it's been down, it's been up. You're trading around $283 today, 70 million shares out roughly? Uh, approximately 70, 70 million, yeah, just under. Yeah, I mean, we've, it's been a pretty volatile stock um, overall. I think, you know, we play in some pretty aggressive industries and, you know, everything from, you know, vaccine announcements to uh, third, fourth, fifth waves, um, you know, so we bounce around a fair bit. But, you know, we're transitioning and this has been really a transformational year for the company is as we bring products to market, we're, we're transitioning into, you know, revenue um and sort of more conventional metrics and uh, really looking forward to some some strong announcements over the next 60 to 90 days. Okay. Now, what I really want to ask is where do you think we'll be in a year? But I'm not going to put you offside for looking financial information, um, but it looks like you're going to have a strong year of revenue, at least 
based on the uh, press releases that have been out already. Yeah, that's right. So we're really excited about our diagnostics business. We also have a number of milestones on the drug formulation side. Um, news pending on uh, our Q1 uh, rotating transdermal uh, patch study. We also have um, a CBD sublingual um, study that we'll be launching very soon in Q2, followed by uh, one human study each quarter uh, in Q3, Q4. So lots going on with the company. We've got uh, psychedelic API production projects in Germany and in Canada. So, you know, we have this incubator accelerator model. You know, sometimes it's a challenge to tell the story um, because we have so much going on. But as these um, as these verticals mature, we're we're certainly looking to monetize and potentially spin out uh, the most advanced. So uh, maybe that's a little bit of foreshadowing for what's to come later this year, but uh, lots in store. Well, that would have been the predicted path as as these different verticals uh, crystallize cash flow, spinning them out into a standalone is a good way to get your investment back. Absolutely. So, ex Fido, uh, it's been six weeks, eight weeks since you and I talked. Let's do this again in July. Absolutely. I'd love to, Peter. Thanks a lot.